I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, another shooting near the Bethlehem Center this morning. Police say a 36-year-old man was shot around 2 a.m. Last month, a teenager and another man were also shot near the nonprofit. This morning's victim is expected to survive. Police say a suspect is in custody. Some lawmakers are calling for the bust of a Ku Klux Klan leader to be removed from the Tennessee Capitol. Nathan Bedford Forrest was a Confederate general and a slave trader. His image sits outside the Senate chambers. U.S. Representative Jim Cooper says the government should not promote symbols of hate. A mass email from the Tennessee Democratic Party is coming under fire. The email written by Chairwoman Mary Mancini discusses the recent killings at a Charleston church. At the bottom of the letter is a button to donate to the party. Tennessee Republican Party Chairman Ryan Haynes demands an apology. He says Democrats are trying to raise money off of a tragedy. But Mancini accuses the state GOP of manufacturing fake outrage. A new charter school may be built on Lookout Mountain. Lula Lake Academy hopes to open a school next fall on the Georgia side of the mountain. It plans to have an environmentally focused curriculum. The school would offer 6th through 8th grade and add a high school grade each year. If approved by the state, it would be the only charter school in Dade and Walker counties. Mayor Jim Coppinger has vetoed the Hamilton County budget. It's the first time a budget has ever been vetoed since the county government was formed. Coppinger didn't include discretionary spending in the 2016 budget because he says there's no revenue to support it. But commissioners made a last-minute move to reclaim the funding by pulling nearly a million dollars from the county's savings account. Coppinger calls the move irresponsible. The commission has 20 days to overrule the veto. The commission is expected to vote to do that on Wednesday night. Another new building is coming to the North Shore. A local developer plans to put a three-story building at Cherokee Boulevard and Manning Street. It would hold a restaurant or retail on the first floor with offices above. Construction is slated to start this fall. It should be open next summer. Tennessee's new government website has launched, and yes, it features the state's new $46,000 logo. You can visit the new site at www.tn.gov. Fort Oglethorpe may not be in Georgia anymore. A map on Tennessee's new website listed the town as Fort Oglethorpe, Tennessee. The page has since been updated to fix the mistake. Construction has started on an expansion of Erlanger East. Groundbreaking was held Monday. The $50 million project will turn the hospital into a full-service facility. It will include 58 new private rooms, four operating rooms, and a basketball court. The project is expected to be complete next year. A man is charged with killing a woman in a crash on Highway 58. 55-year-old Donna Giarusso died at the scene last year. Now 54-year-old William H. Young is charged with vehicular homicide and aggravated assault. Tech Town opens next week in downtown Chattanooga. It's a place for youth to work on video, robotics, and graphic design. It's expected to be the first of many hands-on instruction hubs across the country. Finally, Wilcox Tunnel will be closed from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Friday for routine maintenance. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 95 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 74. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesfreepress.com.